Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the bulk capacitor calculation for flyback converter or any AC driven converter. Okay. So, so after watching this video, you will be able to calculate the capacitance value of your flyback bulk capacitor. Okay. So you need to follow some steps. It's a very easy to calculate the bulk capacitor value. Okay. So this is sometime called DC link capacitor. This is also called like raw DC capacitor. So don't get confused by different terminology used for this capacitor. Okay. So this is called bulk capacitor this is called dc link capacitor this is also called sometimes raw dc capacitor okay okay so let us understand now how will you calculate the bulk capacitor for your given application okay so i'll consider one one design example and i'll show you how will you calculate the bulk capacitance value okay so this is going to be very interesting video today. So let us understand how will you calculate the bulk capacitor value. Okay. So let us consider you want to design a converter flyback converter with output of 100 watt. Right. So let us say you want to design a converter with output of 100 watt. What you need to do is okay. So your minimum input voltage is 85 volt. Okay. Here you see. So you want to design your converter which works from 85 volt to 65 volt. So V minimum is 85 volt and V maximum RMS. These, these values are RMS value. Maximum is 265 volt. And you, if you calculate the peak value for this minimum value, I'll, I'll explain why. I have calculated the peak value for this V minimum. So V minimum peak V min peak equals to 1.414 times of V min. So 1.414 times of 85, you will get 120 volt. Okay. This is your V maximum, the operating voltage of your converter, 265 volt. And let us say you have efficiency of 85%, 0.85. And you want to design your converter to work on 60 hertz. Okay. And this is V minimum DC. So you need to understand if you have the RMS voltage, V minimum and V maximum, why do you want to have this DC voltage? Okay. So there is a design requirement which says that your converter has to work your converter has to work with minimum DC voltage of 80 volt. Okay. So, so guys, this is your design requirement and you cannot miss this requirement. So your converter has to work with minimum DC, DC voltage of 80 volt. Okay. So that is why I've considered here, here 80 volt and later I'll explain the use of this V minimum DC voltage. Now you see this is typical waveform guys. Okay. You can see here. This is very typical waveform here. And you see this. This is this is sinusoidal. Okay. For let's say. Let's say. This is sign signal. Okay. Sinusoidal signal for let's say 60 hertz. Okay guys. So you see here. You see here this delta T time just focus on this waveform after understanding this 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 terminology you will be easily to able to calculate the bulk capacitor value so just need to understand this waveform so this you see here de delta t this is the time to reach the minimum voltage okay so you see this is the time taken by taken by your ac signal to reach the minimum voltage so this is v minimum let's say this is 85 volt okay and then you see this is tc tc called diode conduction time or capacitor charging time this you see this big capacitor right 
so this dc tc is called in in this time the your bridge rectifier diode conducts at the same time your dc link capacitor charges itself so this is time is very narrow you can see from this period to this period and this is called the charging time or conduction time of charging time of capacitor or conduction time of diode and then now you see here from this point to this point this is called discharging time of your capacitor that means your diode bridge rectifier diode is off and your capacitor discharges and provides the energy to the load so that is why it is called discharging time and now you can see this 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 total time is one fourth of line frequency okay one fourth of line frequency and this total time is one two of line frequency i'll, I'll explain the huge case of this now you need to calculate the charging time of your capacitor you have to calculate the discharging time of the capacitor and then later we will calculate the bulk capacitor value okay so let us move hope you have understood what what is the design requirement what is the charging time what is the discharging time and what is the minimum time to reach the converter at minimum voltage okay let us move ahead now let us let us calculate the diode conduction or capacitor charging time that is called tc and let us also calculate the discharging time that is called dc okay that is called this is called td right so so let us first calculate delta t if i say delta t this time this time is you see the minimum time required to conduct to convert minimum time required to reach a, a minimum ac voltage this is v minimum okay so this is given by this formula you have to apply this is given by delta t equals to sin inverse or a sin v minimum dc divided by v minimum peak and total divided by 2 pi f nominal okay so you see this formula here right sin inverse v minimum divided by v peak divided by 2 pi f line and now you have the value of v minimum dc you have the value of v minimum dc is 80 volt and you have the value of v minimum peak which is 120 volt so 80 volt to 120 volt divided by 2 pi into 60 and you can calculate easily right the delta t here is 0 0.002 second that means 2 millisecond okay this is this is 2 millisecond time to reach the minimum dc voltage now let us consider that conduction time or charging time of capacitor this is given by 1 by you see the formula 1 by 4 4 f line line frequency minus delta t this is okay so if you put this delta t value you will get here 2.23 okay 2.23 millisecond now you can calculate the discharging time td equals to 1 by 2 pi f into tc minus tc you see this formula here you can apply both of this formula and you will get you will get this is 6.1 watt millisecond now this is very important you have to remember this formula to calculate the bulk capacitor the formula is given by c bulk should be greater than or equal to two times of output power or converter power divided by efficiency into v peak square minus v minimum square into the discharge time now you see here you have the converter power that is 100 watt in your requirement this is 100 watt and you have the efficiency 85 percent 0.85 here this okay you have the v peak that is 120 volt and this is 80 volt and this is the discharge time which is 6.1 millisecond after putting those value here 
you you will get the bulk capacitor value okay the the bulk capacitor value so you see here after putting those value your bulk capacitor value is 207 microfarad okay so if you if you put these value on this formula you can easily find the bulk capacitor value and which is 207 207 microfarad okay so that is how you 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 can calculate the bulk capacitor value for your converter and there is a thumb rule which says that for universal input uh, for universal input let's say 85 to 265 volt ac you need to have two or three microfarad per watt so this this design this this calculation is done for 100 watt so as per thumb rule you can use the capacitance of 200 to 300 microfarad and now you see here this your calculated value is somewhere around 207 which is more than the 200 microfarad okay okay so you see here your thumb rule also meeting meeting with your calculated value okay matching you you can say so for european in, input you need to have one microfarad per watt okay so for this case you need to have only 100 watt right so so guys hope you have understood how will you calculate the bulk capacitor value for your converter okay so just quick recap in order to calculate the bulk capacitor value for your converter you have to first understand your design requirement what is output power what is minimum input voltage dc voltage efficiency frequency then after that you need to calculate the the a delta t value this is the delta t value and then you will calculate the tc value that is charging time of capacitor and then you need to calculate the discharging time of the ca capacitor and once you get the value of your discharging time so why you are why you want to calculate the charging time and delta t because this these two are the if you don't get these two value you cannot calculate the discharging time td so first i need to calculate we need to calculate delta t then we need to calculate the charging time and then discharging time once you get the discharging time you can easily calculate the bulk capacitor value okay so hope you guys understood this calculation if you still have any doubt feel free to ask me in comment section i'm happy to help you thanks for your patience